today we will discuss how compactness of a topological space depends on nets. In fact, we shall show that a topological space is compact if and only if every net in the space has a cluster point. Before coming to the main theorem, we need to prove some results. Now, the first theorem is let x t be a topological space and y be a closed subset of x. If x0 is a cluster point of a net f x a greater than or equal to, which is eventually in y, then x0 belongs to y. Let us prove this theorem. We know that in a topological space x t, a point x0 belongs to x is a cluster point of net f x a greater than or equal to if and only if there exists a subnet g x b greater than or equal to star which converges to x naught. We have proved this result in the last lecture. So there exists a subnet g of f which converges to x naught and we know that g is equal to f composition phi where phi is a mapping from direct set B to A. As F is eventually in Y, it is given that F is eventually in Y. So there exists some point A naught in A such that F of X belongs to Y for all X greater than or equal to A naught. And since G is a subnet of F, so for, for point A naught in A, there exists a point B naught in B such that phi of x is greater than or equal to A naught for all x greater than or equal to star B naught. And so um, there exists point B naught in B such that f of phi of x belongs to y because since phi of x is greater than or equal to A naught, so we have f of phi of x belongs to y and that means g of x belongs to y for all x greater than or equal to star b naught. Thus g is eventually in y and so g can be considered as a net in y. We know that if every net in y converges to x naught then x naught belongs to closer of y. And since here g is any net uh, which converges to x0 and so every net in y converges to x0 that means x0 belongs to closer of y as y is closed so x0 belongs to y. Now the second theorem states that let xt be a topological space and let f x a greater than or equal to be a net in x. For each a in a let m subscript a is equal to set consisting of f of x such that x greater than or equal to a x belongs to a that is m a contains f images of all those elements of a which are greater than or equal to a. Then a point p of x is a cluster point of f if and only if p belongs to closer of m a for every a in a. Let us prove this theorem. Let p belongs to closer of m a for all a in a. Then we have to prove that p is a cluster point of f. If possible, let p not be a cluster point of f. If P is a cluster point of F, then we know that um, F is frequently in each neighborhood of P. And if we are assuming that P is not a cluster point, so there exists a neighborhood N of P such that P is not frequently in the neighborhood N of P. And since F is not frequently in N, so for some a dash in a f of x doesn't belong to n for all x greater than or equal to a dash. That means an intersection m a dash 
is equal to 5 because n does not contain any element of m a dash and uh, we have shown that there exists a neighborhood n of p which does not contain any element of m a dash means p is not um, an adherent point of m a dash that means p doesn't belong to closer of m a dash which is a contradiction this contradicts our hypothesis because we have assumed that P belongs to closer of MA for every A belongs to V. But we have shown that there exists a point A dash in A such that P doesn't belong to closer of MA dash. So we arrive at a contradiction. That means our assumption is wrong because we have assumed that P is not a cluster point of our assumption is wrong, hence P is a cluster point of F. Conversely, let P be a cluster point of F, then we have to show that P belongs to closer of M A for every A in A. Since P is a cluster point of F, so F is frequently in each neighborhood of P. Let N be a neighborhood of P then f is frequently in the neighborhood m of p and so for each a in a there exists x in a x greater than or equal to a such that f of x belongs to n thus n intersection m a is non-empty for every a belongs to a because f of x belongs to n for x greater than or equal to a so n contains a point f of x of m a so n intersection m a is non empty for each a in a that is each neighborhood of p contains a point of m a for every a in a hence p belongs to closer of m a for every a in a now the main theorem states that a topological space Xt is compact if and only if each net in X has a cluster point. Let us prove this theorem. Let every net in X have a cluster point. Then we have to show that Xt is compact. We know that a topological space is compact if and only if every collection of closed sets with finite intersection property has itself non-empty intersection and so let f be a collection of t closed subsets of x with finite intersection property then we have to prove that f has non-empty intersection let c is the collection of all finite intersections of members of f that is d consists of sets D where D is intersection of a finite subcollection of F and clearly C is directed by inclusion relation because we know that inclusion relation is reflexive this is transitive and if we take any two members say D1 and D2 of C then we know that D1 intersection D2 is also in C because D1 intersection D2 is also finite intersection of members of F. So, C is directed by inclusion relation. As F has the finite intersection property, so every member D of C is non-empty. We choose a point X D in D. So, we define a mapping f from directed set c to x such that f of t is equal to x t for every t in c then clearly f is a net in x since c is a directed set so f is a net in x by hypothesis f has a cluster point because we have assumed that 
uh, every net in X has a cluster point. So, and since F is a net in X, so F has a cluster point, say X naught. Let A be an arbitrary member of C. Then for every D in C, such that D is contained in E, F of T is equal to X T, belongs to D and this is contained in E. We have shown that there exists E in C such that for all D contained in E, F of T belongs to E. Hence, F is eventually in set E. And here we also note that set E is a closed set because E is obtained by uh, taking finite intersections of members of F. And uh, we know that intersection of closed sets, finite number of closed sets is also a closed set. So, E is a closed set and F is eventually in the closed set E. We know that in a topological space XT, actually we have proved this result, if X0 is a cluster point of a net F X A greater than or equal to, which is eventually in a closed set Y, then X0 belongs to Y. And since um, here X0 is the cluster point of F and F is eventually in the closed set E, so X0 belongs to E. As E is an arbitrary member of C, so X0 belongs to intersection of D, D belongs to C. That is, um, since X0 belongs to every member of C, so if we take intersection of all members of C, then uh, that um, will contain point X0. So, X0 belongs to intersection of D, where D belongs to C and this is contained in intersection of all members of F. And so, intersection of all members of F is non-empty. Consequently, XD is compact. Because we have shown that um, a collection of closed sets with finite intersection property has a non-empty intersection. And so space is compact. Conversely, let XT be compact. And um, we want to show that um, every net in X has a cluster point. So let F X A greater than or equal to be a net in X and we want to show that F has a cluster point. For each A in A, we define a set M A is equal to containing F of X, X greater than or equal to A, X belongs to A. That is M A is the collection of F images of all those elements of A which are greater than or equal to A. As A is directed by greater than or equal to relation, the collection M A, A belongs to A has the finite intersection property. Why? Because if we take A dash is greater than or equal to A, then we know that M A contains M A dash. And so this collection has the finite intersection property. And since M A is contained in closure of M A, and so if we take collection of closure of M A such that A belongs to A, then this collection has the finite intersection property. As X T is compact, and we know that space is compact, then every collection of closed sets with finite intersection property has non-empty intersection. So, intersection of closure of M A, A belongs to A is non-empty. Since this is non-empty, so let P belongs to intersection of closure of M A, A belongs to A. Then P belongs to closure of M A for every A in A. And we know that, actually we have proved this result, that in a topological space X, if F X A greater than or equal to is a net, and for each A in A, M A is equal to F of X, X greater than or equal to A, X belongs to A, then a point P of X is a cluster point of F, if and only if 
P belongs to closure of MA for all A in A. And since here P belongs to closure of MA for every A in A, so P is a cluster point of F. Now, I am giving you the following theorem as a home assignment which you can prove very easily. A topological space Xt is compact if and only if each net in X has a subnet which converges to some point of X. Thank you.